there, it's Craig from Unleashed Education here and you've tuned into another editing toolbox video. In these videos, Charlotte or I take turns in sharing quick tips, tricks or techniques with you that we hope will give you a bit of an easier time when you're editing your images. I'm just editing this photo of gorgeous blue staffy puppy uh, Luna, who I met in Scotland recently. And I, I thought I'd share a quick tip with you for tricky collars. So it may be the case that sometimes you have a collar that is a little bit too difficult to remove, but is quite a distracting color. Or it might even be the case that you need to leave the collar in the image. For example, if you're working with a commercial client and the regulations for advertising standards state that images must show responsible ownership of pets, deems a collar necessary. With a collar this sort of size, it would be fairly tricky to remove it, although I do think you probably could remove this. The reason I'm saying it might be tricky is that because it's quite wide on the chest here, getting a nice amount of fill on the chest from the parts of fur that are available for you to pull from might not necessarily work. So what I would like to do instead is just make this collar uh, a different um, color. This is a real mouthful, so hopefully hopefully you guys get me here. Um, so instead of it being really bright pink, which is just super distracting in this image where everything's kind of cooler tones and, and you've got the greens and the blues, I would like to tone it maybe to a greenish tone or, or even maybe a brownie kind of color, something like that, where it's still present obviously in the image, but it's not really just distracting me from everything that's going on with what's happening in the image already. Just bring maybe a little bit more color harmony into the shot. So I will start off really by making just a blank layer and it's really easy. I'm just gonna press B for my brush. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can do that with the command or control key and plus or minus. And then basically I will click on the white box in the color panel here and I'm going to pick a color that is more kind of muted and, and neutral. Let's see how we go with something. I don't really want to go there. Let's go quite dark. Let's take it down to that kind of darker area there. Okay, and then basically I'm just going to paint over the collar here. Uh, I don't need to be too precise because I can mask it if I need to afterwards. Um, so I'll just get the rough kind of edging happening. And then once I've done that, I can tidy up where I need to. So I've pretty much done covering up all of the pink here. And then really all you need to do is just go to this layer and change your blending mode to color. And that just changes the color of the, the collar. The color, oh, there it is again, the tongue twister. So, it really just blends in with the scene a little bit more. The other thing we could potentially do if I make another new layer and use a different color, you could potentially bring in some of the blues from the bluebells here just to make it kind of match into the, um, the, the colored part of the scene. And that might be a nice thing to, to do instead of kind of taking it to a neutral tone. So let's have a look quickly at that. I won't make quite as an accurate mask, but just to give you an idea. Um, and again, change the blending mode there to color. And yeah, I don't think that works quite as nicely. It's a little bit too bright for my liking still. Um, I like to keep it a bit more in these kind of neutral tones. So we're not quite done yet. There's a couple more steps to take. So first things first is we just need to go nice and close in here and really just refine what we've done. I'm just gonna change this back to normal. Grab the picker and pick this color again. Okay, and then we can go back to color. And so, just gonna make doubly sure that I've got all of the pink edges. Okay, and now I will add a layer mask and I'll grab the brush tools on the layer mask and we want to have a black brush. So you can either click the arrows here to switch these two around, so black is on top, or you can press X on your keyboard to give you the shortcut for doing that. And then I just want to make sure that I'm not bleeding over onto the edges of the fur. my 
brush a little bit harder, I can take it off of the black parts here too. So I'm happy with the masking there as well now. I'm, I'm quite pleased with, with how that's looking. I think that the tones are nice and neutral and it just is a bit more in keeping with the environment that the dog is in. There's one more thing that you just need to pay attention to when you're changing the colors, um, especially when they're really bright ones like this pink one was. And that is actually that you'll see some of the fur, especially on the cheek sort of down here, it's taken on a little bit of a cast from that pink so we just need to fix that as well in in our edit i'm going to now just go back to the layer with the dog on it i'll duplicate the layer here and basically i just want to tone down that color cast and then use the masking probably again to to get rid of it so command and u or control and u on a pc will bring up the hue and saturation box i'm going to just change this to reds I'm going to just play with the saturation to see how that affects it. So definitely there are reds present there. I'm bringing the saturation down. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some magenta in there as well. Not as much, but there are some. So I'll just bring that saturation down there as well. And I might even just go to master and, and take that down a little bit overall as well. Okay, and then another mask. I'm actually going to invert this mask. So command and I. And I'm inverting it because then I can paint away what I don't want and there's less work to do basically. So painting away these pinkish areas is giving me less to do than I would have done if I was painting away the rest of the image. So that's basically what I'm doing there. So I'm just being a bit lazy. Make things a little bit easier for yourself and a bit quicker. I am going to take it over this buckle as well just because that buckle does have a little bit of a pinky tone. It is kind of warmish gold anyway, but let's bring it over there. Yeah, that's dealt with that pinkish cast nicely. A couple of steps there. I think it makes it much easier for you to deal with these things, especially when you've got a really tricky removal. You know, if you're dealing with the dog's nose going through the collar, if they were looking down a little bit more, if you've got lots of, lots of whiskers going through, anything like that. This is a really useful technique to just handle those really awkward, brightly colored collars and um, just bring some more harmony into your image overall. So I hope this one's been helpful and you've enjoyed it and that you will put it in your editing toolbox and apply it to some of your work. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will be happy to answer them. And Charlotte will be back next week with her next one and I'll see you in a couple of weeks time with, with my next editing toolbox.